Disney is getting absolutely destroyed uh, with their new Snow White live action trailer coming out. Of course, it's been ratioed. Uh, people on the internet are disgusted by what they see. It, it rings false on every single level. This movie looks so bad. It looks even worse than the previews that leaked last year showing the diversity dwarfs. You remember that? <laughs> Everybody was mocking it at the time. But once that happened and uh, and people were afraid of their uh, <laughs> treatment of little people, uh, <laughs> they they decided to replace everything with CGI dwarves instead. Uh, so now it's not even live action. It's just Rachel Zegler walking around a cartoon. Uh, yay. And uh, a lot of this rings false. It's been just destroyed on every level. Now Rachel Zegler is making the dumbest comments again, and they're showing that this is going to be another situation where we have a political shit show uh, as, a, as a lead up to the campaign for the movie. And we know what that leads to. I, I'll, I'll explain exactly the marketing strategy that Disney has behind this and what they do every single time. It's so cynical in just a moment. My name's John Della Rose, everybody. Please hit the like and subscribe button here. I'm a professional writer, and I know my storytelling craft. And that's why I've got a great uh, selling, wonderful science fiction graphic novel on Kickstarter right now. This is the story uh, that you really want. If you miss old Star Wars, if you miss what uh, if Disney <laughs> destroyed, uh, we are trying to bring this back with classic pulp adventures, real heroism, a lot of fun, beautiful art. And as you can see, we're already over $27,000 on the campaign. Back this today. It's in the description below. Just grab your copy, check it out, and support our channel. Really appreciate you guys for being there. All right. So <laughs> I saw this article today about uh, Zach Roloff uh, torching Peter Dinklage and Disney's Snow, Snow White. I thought this was pretty funny. Uh, before we get to the Rachel Zegler stuff. Um, <laughs> uh, Roloff expressed his thoughts via some Instagram story post. Uh, he said, if you've been following our podcast and have thoughts on this, they updated diversified Snow White, but went way backwards on the dwarf side. I hope Dinklage is happy. In the second post, he wrote, so they aren't just taking away the dwarves and making Snow White. They're CGIing the dwarves. This isn't 1937. There are actually a lot of people with dwarfism walking around. Either focus on Snow White or focus on uh, an only dwarf representation. Very funny. Very funny. Now, this came because Peter Dinklage uh, went out there and uh, and started uh, playing victim in the media like all these people do. That's what Rachel Ziegler is going to do very, very soon. Um, he said, you know, it's really progressive to cast a literally no offense to anybody, but I was a little taken aback. They're very proud to cast a Latina actress as Snow White, but you're still telling the snow story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. So take a step back in what you're doing there. It makes no sense to me because you're progressive in one way, but you're still making that effing backward story of seven dwarves living in a cave. What the F are you doing, man? Oh, stunning and brave. What a victim. What a victim. Have I done nothing to advance the cause from my soapbox? I guess I'm enough. He then concluded, I don't know what studio that is, but they were so proud of that and all love and respect to the actress and people who thought they were doing the right thing. But I'm like, what are you doing? If you tell the story of Snow White and its most effed up, cool, progressive spin on it, let's do it all in. But I just don't know. Oh, no matter what, the people, the SJWs are never happy. Um, their representation doesn't matter. It has to be the way they want it. They're never going to be uh, content with it. You're never going to appeal to them. So when you do this kind of thing and you just like take a classic fairy tale and then, of course, race swap the lead uh, to make it uh, some kind of weird thing, which really doesn't work when the character is literally called Snow White. My God, I mean, I, it's just so mind-numbingly painful <laughs> it's tough to even like look at any of these images um they, they when they say the fairest of them all yes fair means beautiful but fair means light-skinned i mean come on uh she does not fit the mold in any sense of the word very funny and of course we've seen all the memes and everything where they're showing gal gadot as the evil queen who uh who you know looks a lot uh, more objectively beautiful than rachel zegler why is she jealous of rachel zegler it doesn't make any sense on that level either it just ruins the entire story and when you get the cgi dwarves it just becomes a pointless endeavor of course 
Now, this is not what <laughs> I really wanted to talk about overall. Uh, there, the marketing for this is going to go one direction because they know they have a bad film on their hands. They know they have an actress who's unlikable. They know that they have uh, made mistakes and they've already gone so far forward. They're going to have to try to make a success out of this no matter what. And so what they're going to do is they're going to turn this into a political uh, sort of thing. We saw this with Captain Marvel. And we saw this with Star Wars and the Acolyte. They make it all political. They talk about the politics way up into the lead up of the of the show and or the, of the movie uh, and then they play victim and they say that they're being bullied online harassed online death threats those alt-right evil people bigots are trying to destroy this movie and that's their marketing technique they're trying to uh, create a political cause out of it hoping that the left wing will come in and see this movie and go yes yes we're gonna own the bigots to see this movie there's one problem with that is that it never works if you look at the acolyte like the ratings were very very low for it uh, by the end of the show it fell off the nielsen rating charts people are so fed up with that and people are very very uh, aware of the cynical marketing tactics that disney does on this level but rachel Ziegler's amping this up early on you could tell that she's going there with this direction and this is exactly what brie larson did Brie Larson was super unlikable. She started playing up the feminism, playing up things like that. Uh, when Captain Marvel was coming out, uh, that was still an era where you know people were not uh, really open their their eyes to it quite yet, and so the MCU carried it along. There's no MCU to carry this along at this point. We just have Rachel Zegler uh, right here. She, her, hers. I'm so glad she's got her pronouns. I would have never guessed. Uh, that's so uh, important. So she says uh, after the the failure of the trailer, where <laughs> of course critics panned it. Uh, you got uh, ratioed pretty hard. Uh, she said, I love you so much. Thank you for the love and the 120 million views on our trailer in just 24 hours. What a whirlwind. Yeah, people tuned in to see the train wreck, Rachel. Uh, they, they were not into it. I am in the thick of rehearsals for Romeo and Juliet. Oh, geez, another, another thing for her to take over. And I'm going to get out of here. Bye for now. Um, and she doesn't actually get out of here. This was not correct. Uh, she then follows it up. And here comes the politics, guys. And always remember, free Palestine. <laughs> yes, free Palestine, everybody. So free Palestine is the the current year uh, uh, cl please clap kind of thing. It's putting the Ukrainian flag in your bio and saying, I stand with Ukraine. Remember how everybody did that two years ago and it did literally nothing for Ukraine? Uh, none of these people actually helped. Nobody went to the front lines. Nobody went and fought. Uh, I'd love to see Rachel Zegler go over to Israel and Palestine and actually walk into a Palestinian camp uh, you know, wearing what she typically wears uh, and just see how... <laughs> how that goes for her over there that'd be a lot of fun to watch uh, man, man what a good reality show that would be probably do better than snow white to be honest uh but they do this they just say these phrases that are the generic npc catchphrases all the time black lives matter uh pride month you know I, all these things are just things that uh they do love is love you know they remember that one you put put the rainbow colors in your profile picture uh, it is a big virtue signal that they do every single time. And, uh, of course, she's getting uh, ratioed and uh, and hit pretty hard for this as well. Let's go look at the quote tweets for this because it's going to be pretty fun. So, uh, okay, she, hers. Palestine is a savage pack of lies you're using to sick anti sama It's at Gal Gadot. That's very interesting given the fact that Gal Gadot is the evil queen and she's very Israeli. Uh, you'll never be a real Snow White. You're just a forever cultural vandal. WDW Pro says Disney's Snow White, everybody. Please clap. Uh, we got Geeky Sky, uh, Sparkle Skywalker from Clownfish TV. She says, I'm confused. Zegler posted this in a thread promoting Snow White. Shouldn't she be fired for her Quep Checks Notes abhorrent social media posts? Yeah, if they, if this is a reference to Gina Carano, of course, and exactly what happened to her just a couple of years ago for uh, just a very innocuous post that she made on, on Instagram. But no, Rachel Zegler is probably actually being told by Disney to do stuff like this. Her, or the PR firm's probably telling her to amp it up uh, as part of their marketing strategy. It's completely hypocritical. It is completely lies on Disney's part, and we know exactly what's going on over there, too. Uh, she says, I'm pointing out the obvious double standard. I'm not going to help them with their lawsuit. Good job, Zegler. Um, and there, this is Disney's Snow White, y'all. Uh, very, very interesting stuff here. This is who Disney Studios installed as the lead role of Snow White, iconic Disney classic, yet Iger penalized Elon Musk taking away advertising for a comment he made on X, branding him as an anti-Semite. Yeah, there you go. Disney executives right now. This is pretty funny. Uh, Snow White and the Seven Hamas Terrorists. Pretty good. Gal Gadot has been nothing but professional in her interactions with the public for the movies. You and her worked on. Ashamed you couldn't extend your coworker the same 
uh, courtesy. This guy says, much like Snow White, Palestine is a fiction. She truly wants this Snow White movie to make negative money. It certainly seems that way. If you look at her comments in the past, you know, she's, of course, talked about how feminism is going to be the, the key here, that Snow White's not going to just fall in love with the, the prince, uh, that they're going to do a modernized version of it, which is going to be a bastardization of the uh, tale as well that nobody actually wants. She says she hates the original version. Uh, this is who she is. And, uh, and here it goes. The cynical marketing campaign of Disney to try to appeal to extreme leftists, just like every time. We know how this is going to end. Let's enjoy the ride. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure to check out some good fiction, guys. This is The Hidden Emperor. You're going to love this. Please back it and support our channel. It's in the description below. Thank you so much. We'll be back soon.